Welcome to this video. My name is Chisola Nyala. In this video, we'll be differentiating quotient functions. In the previous video, we did a differentiate product of two functions. But in this video, we will be differentiating a quotient of two functions. Now, what is the form of this kind of, uh, of functions? Uh, I mean, what's the form of this kind of differentiation? So our y will be in this form. y is equals to some function. Let's say a function of x divided by some function, also a function of g, which we equivalent to say u divided by v, like we had the u multiplied by v in the previous video. Now, what is the formula of differentiating a quotient of two functions? dy dx which is our differentiation is going to be keeping the uh, the denominator constant which is v multiplied by uh, differentiating the, the the numerator which is du with respect to x some uh, minus keeping uh, u constant multiplied by dv dx all of this divided by the denominator squared. Take note of this formula. We'll be using this formula in the next three examples to understand more of this uh, mathematics. I'll, I'll do two to three examples in this video. So this is the formula for the quotient, uh, form the quotient rule. So when we have two functions of x uh, in this form, then we'll apply this formula. So now let's do some examples to see how this works. And then let me write the formula this side so that uh, for our own convenience. So I send dy dx is equals to v du dx minus u dv dx divided by v squared. So this is our formula. So now let's look at example 1. <clears throat> example number 1. We have y is equals to sin x divided by x squared x squared so what is our u here u is sin x v is x squared now we are following this formula here it says keeping the co uh, keeping v constant multiplied by differentiating u with respect to x so this becomes dy dx is equals to keeping this guy constant x squared multiplied by differentiating u which is sin x will get cos x we get cos x minus now this time keeping u uh, I mean v constant which is x squared Uh, sorry, keep uh, yeah, keeping u constant, which is sin x, then differentiating v, which is uh, this. When we differentiate x squared, we'll have two x. Now all of this divided by v squared. What is v squared? X squared power two. Now this becomes. Uh, x squared cos x minus 2x sin x divided by x raised to the power 4. Now we can factor out x, we can cancel out x common. So this will go, this x will go, and this will go have 3. So this uh, becomes 
x cos x minus 2 uh, sorry for that sin x divided by x raised to the power 3 so this is the solution to our problem Okay, let's do another example. Now this time, y is equals to 5e raised to the power x divided by cos x. Now what's the formula? Back to the formula, keeping v constant, differentiating u. So dy dx will be keeping uh, v constant, which is cos x constant, multiplied by differentiating uh, u, which will still be 5e power x minus. Now this time keeping uh, the other guy constant, uh, keeping the quotient, the numerator constant. We we'll have 5e power x differentiating the denominator will get a uh, sine x it will be positive because when we differentiate cos x we we'll have minus sine x that will cancel the minus so we'll have this differentiate uh, all divided by um, cos x squared which is so we can factor out 5 uh, 5e raised to power x so we can write this in a compact form we'll have e being factored out then we'll have cos x plus sin x or divided by cos squared x so this is the solution to our problem i think this is enough uh no let's do the last problem let's do the last problem but this one will be a quick one i hope you you've understood um, and i hope you've got the pattern and you uh, you can actually easily follow so no i think i'll end here we'll do the third example in the next video